All right, folks, definitely a hill. Um, a little bit of a gut buster hill. They say this is the hardest trail in the park. It's also one of the shorter ones, but it's pretty much all the way up. So, but I'm sure the view's worth it. So, we've went point zero point one of a mile <laughs> climbing up this mountain. <laughs> We're just training for the Smokies, <laughs> the real mountains. <laughs> okay. Well, howdy folks. Sean here from hikingwithsean.com. Today we are at Trail of Tears State Park here in Missouri, right across the river from Southern Illinois. We're gonna do the Shepherd Point Trail and it's three miles out and back, mile and a half one way. Um, really pretty park, nice park, a lot of parking areas, uh, shelter, trash receptacle, vault toilets, picnic area. Um, fun looking area. They say this is the most rugged trail, so I'm guessing it's hilly. Michelle likes hills, so it's right up her alley. <laughs> this is a hiker only trail no bikes no equine trail length three mile loop they say it's a loop i didn't know it was a loop i thought it was out and back but okay so we're gonna enjoy it nice little bridge here cool creek Should be some overlook up top so it is raining but that's all right we've hiked in the rain many times um, just saw a trail runner come through so he's taking the spider webs down for taking the spider webs thank you thank you sir you're a brave man <laughs> thank you for your service <laughs> so far so cool Nice maintained trail. Stop by the visitor center. Really nice folks. Definitely check them out if they're open. All right, folks. Kind of evened out after our second hill climb up the trail. It's definitely ridge lines going up a ridge. Um, I don't think there's, there may be a little bit of bluffage out here, but I don't think there's a whole lot of bluffage in the park. But there's still a lot of cool areas cool things to see good trails <coughs> and it's maintained very well um and talking to them you know it's uh you just in general if you visit these parks in missouri they're fairly maintained and i think even on a smaller budget than most people would think so makes me wonder what illinois state parks can truly do if they would, uh, I don't know, just think about the spending and all that. All right, folks. About seventh of a mile. So, got a little over half a mile to go till we're at our top destination. Still haven't seen the trail runner yet. Oh, <laughs> you about watched me trip on video. <laughs> but luckily I saved myself you did a fine job. I'm pretty good at saving myself for the most part, the most part yeah. <laughs> I do that quite a bit alrighty folks starting to rain a little bit more kind of getting condensation in the air a little fog got us a little bench here trail clothes sign but don't worry there's the trail so there's at least one bench. You're practically wore out by the time you hit this bench. <laughs> All right, folks. Passed the trail runner. He passed us. He passed us. <laughs> I told him he's tough, and he said the hills keep getting bigger and bigger. So <laughs> a little bit of bluffage here. Some baby bluffage. You see no snicks. Snakies.
1.2 miles, we're getting close. Nice bluffy, little bluffy of an area. <laughs> all right folks <laughs> cool creek has that famous missouri rocks really cool looking i'm not too sure what the uh, rock hounding rules are at the park i have to look it up <laughs> <All good. laughs> all right folks at a hill i think they made this trail to torture us <laughs> they did say it was the most rugged but you kind of go up thinking you're going to get to the top then you go all the way down <laughs> and now we're going back up definitely some ridge lines <laughs> definitely some ridge lines there's this horse fly it will not leave me alone Keep trying to kill it. It flees. It's good at its job. Trained in the special forces of horsefly. All right, folks, we've reached the top. We've still got a little ways to go up there, but this is, I think, one of the kind of overlook areas. Probably better in the winter, but there's the river, the Mississippi River. It's definitely doing a lot better than it has. I think I hear a barge. <clears throat> so a little bit of bluffage here. Looks steep to try to trail. <laughs> so probably just stay on the trail. <laughs> oh, another little overlook here. Like I said, in the winter, it probably looks a whole lot better. I'd like to see that barge or something. Yep. Train, <laughs> the river train. <laughs> so, I'm joking. Yeah, looks like this is the last overlook. So this would have been the loop. Yep, I bet. Yeah. Yep. That's created some erosion. So, yeah. Can't really see the river. I mean, you can, but you know. Not that well. Not that well. Still pretty cool. Definitely a nice, nice spot at the top. So. Shady. Shady, yeah. Stay away from the edge. We have uh, <laughs> done some sweating, but it's rained on us, so I don't know what sweat or rain. <laughs> All right, folks, you can see the barge there. So that's kind of cool. They move slow, but in a way they move fast. <laughs> there for a while they weren't really hardly able to do this because the river was so low. Yeah. All right, folks. How's the overlook area? I um, guess if I was to recommend it, definitely come this time of year if you like hiking you know no matter what year it is it's a really good trail for exercise whether you want to run it or just hike it you really don't need to run it you're still going to get good exercise so it's hilly can't wait to see what the elevation is but uh if you want to see the overlooks i recommend hitting it during the leaf off um you know the winter months just be careful if there's snow or anything i don't know about what they do with closures but uh definitely a cool trail um i almost didn't i, I was not going to include this trail to, on today's trip because i thought it was too short but if they say this was the hardest trail of the park then shouldn't be too bad <laughs> all right folks Definitely an exercise trail. 
um, hilly, hilly and steep. I would say rugged, right, right it is rugged, just because the hills. I'm gonna say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, 10 yeah. Being the rut most. Yeah, 10 being Eagle Mountain off trail. <laughs> it's not quite that bad yet, but it's uh, definitely rugged and uh, steep and hilly. Worth it. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if you could see it, but a little bit foggy through here. A little condensation. There you wear. There you wear. All right, folks. We've done 3.0 miles, so we should be closing in on the trailhead here pretty soon. A couple more people are out. <laughs> I told Michelle's going to cash in her piggyback ride at the next hill. <laughs> the runner has come back by and he told us that he's ran it like four times. <laughs> so tough, tough cookie there. I, I'd imagine the elevation is high. If it's not a thousand, it's seven, six, seven, something like that. In a short distance, three miles. You know, well, it's going to be a little over three miles. So definitely a uh, rugged exercise hike, if that's what you're into. I like those hikes. Um, they're good for you, good for your heart. But uh, yeah, early spring wildflowers and fall is probably pretty out here with the coloration. Um, and then leaf off, of course, to be able to see, see everything, see the hills and the way the land looks. You may have to come back out here during leaf off. Definitely, so we can see the overlooks. Alrighty folks, that was the hike. About 3.3 miles. It's not a loop. It says it's a loop on a sign, but it's out and back. Used to be a loop probably, but they closed some of the trail for erosion. Definitely uh, some good exercise. So if you come out here, prepare. First. Yeah, enjoy. You'll like it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail.